What's going on everybody and welcome to part five of the Go tutorial series. In this series what we're going to be talking about is uh, at least the basics of the built-in Go web server that you have at your disposal. So this will be the very start of our, uh, our web app that we're going to be building uh, throughout this tutorial. So uh, first of all I just started with a, a empty script just because uh, I just want to start fresh. So we're going to say package main as usual and then we're going to go ahead and import and we're going to have format and we're going to need this in parentheses format and then finally uh, net slash HTTP. Uh, this is all this is part of your standard library so you should have both of those. Uh, now what we're going to go ahead and do is um, we're going to create our main function. So func main and then in our main function we're going to create begin creating a handler. So uh, basically in web development you're going to have basically you know something has to take that URL that someone enters in and it's going to have some sort of path to it and then you have to take that path and then figure out what kind of function corresponds to that path. So the thing that's going to do that is going to be the, the, the handler. So we're going to use http.handlefunk and that's going to take in the path that you want to use. So in this case, we're just going to use a forward slash, which um, just a forward slash would be the index, right? The, the home page, right? There is nothing there. Um, and then we're going to have whatever we're going to, whatever function we want to run. In this case, it's going to be index handler that we want to run. Now, beyond actually handling functions, we need to have, we need our server, right? So we're going to actually uh, serve. So we're going to HTTP uh, listen and serve. And then we're the first parameter here is going to be on what port. And then the second parameter is like server stuff that we don't really need to deal with right now, but you have to, you have to pass something. So we're going to pass nil, which is the Go equivalent basically of like Python's none, okay? So, um, so this creates our server at basically localhost port 8000. So, um, cool. Now we just need, um, uh, we need index handler. We have to make that function. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is make that function. So let's say func uh, index underscore handler. Um, and then index handler is going to have basically two parameters that are going to come into it. First, it's going to have, um, W, which is going to be your writer. So in, in this is truly, you can name this whatever you want. It's just if you look at other examples, this is exactly how it's always going to be in people's code. So I'm going to try to stick with that. But you could name that whatever you wanted. Um, w, and then obviously we have to give the type. Now the type here um, is going to be of, of HTTP response writer type. So that's not a built-in Go type. Um, that's a custom type that we're going to be talking about. We'll talk about how about more about those in the next tutorial. I just wanted to, you know, not have a ride on my hands if, if we got to part five and still weren't actually applying anything. So, so anyway, um, response writer. So so you need, you know, the writer, and that's what's going to be, you know, put information onto the page. And then you also need the request. So we're going to say R for request equals asterisk HTTP. Uh, request. Now recall, what is asterisk? That's not the memory address, right? The memory address would have been ampersand. This is reading through HTTP request. Uh, and then braces. And we're ready to rumble. What do we want to do in our index handler? Well, we're going to do uh, format dot f print f. Um, now this is a um, basically f print is going to is going to format whatever you specified. Um, it's going to format based on what you specify, which we're going to say is the writer itself. And then, and then it's going to all, it's going to output whatever you ask it to. Okay. So, so it's going to using our response writer, it's going to write, um, whoa, go is neat. <laughs> awesome. So, um, everything looks good to me. Let's go ahead and run this bad boy. So now let's go over to our command line. Go run go tut. <sighs> Semicolon and found. Oh, right. That's not necessary. Um, don't put that comma there. <laughs> uh, okay, try again. 
All right, um, I'll approve such a thing to run. Okay, so now you can head over to a browser, head to a localhost on port 8000. So 127.001, uh, colon 8000. Whoa, go is neat. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, one more thing I figure I might show you before before we leave and, and head on to the next tutorial is just, just a little bit more about the handler. So like, let's say you wanted to add a new page. We'll copy, paste, and let's say you wanted to do, um, I don't know, about. Uh, so rather than index handler, now it would be about. And uh, let's just, basically we can just copy this whole function, paste, call this about handler. And now it, it does the formatted print of, um, you know, expert web design by syntax. I can't even spell my own name. Okay, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll break this, so control C to break. Hopefully you know that by now. Uh, we'll rerun. Fresh. And now we can go to like the about page. So slash about. Expert web design by Centex. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, so that's all for like a really basic example. And like, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, for, a, for your traditional hello world example, which honestly was more like this, um, go looks pretty good. So as I was kind of looking into go before I, I jumped in, uh, I found like a blog post. I'm not going to call anybody out. I forget who the name was that wrote it, but it was a blog post and it compared, um, basic examples from, uh, Go web development to Flask with Python and Ruby on Rails. And it kind of showed basic hello world examples. And when you look at that, you're like, oh, wow, that's super simple. Like Go is awesome. <laughs> but those are so impractical because it's not actually like it's just showing like the really, you know, truly basic information like this. Like when you actually what about when you want to start using like sessions? And what about when you actually want to start like doing some sort of logical information, right? Um, cause at this point, like, yeah, like Go is actually super simple if you want to have like a static website with, with Go, but why would you do that? So, so, um, I promise it, it it's not actually this simple, uh, but anyway, um, I think it's, it's weird when you look in the Go community because everybody thinks that you can do every, you, cause you can do everything with, with the standard library packages. Um, but eventually you're going to want something on top of that, I think. Um, but we'll see. Whenever you get through the end of the series, maybe maybe you won't. Uh, so anyways, um, that's it with our simple Hello World example. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about this because that's not quite right. That's a, some sort of custom function there, uh, or a custom type rather, um, that uh, maybe you want to know how to make yourself. Eventually you're going to need to know. So you're going to find out. So, so that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.